Hello and welcome to another episode of Link Digital Canva series. So today we'll be drawing yet another logo with the color theme of Heartbeats. Right, so just a quick recap of the color scheme. We have a pale shade of orange, dark orange, as well as a maroon red as a backing. These are the three main colors that we'll be using throughout our designs. And we have included subtle bits of a lighter shade of uh, orange near yellow as well as white so as you can see from our designs we do have a little bit of other colors as well just give you a little bit of contrast so we're kind of working with the same colors along the line of orange red but we just go lighter or darker with the shading right so today's logo that we're going to draw will be something along the lines of a TikTok challenge so what we have going is due to COVID-19, a lot of families are not able to visit some of the grandparents that live away from them. So we're trying to have an online TikTok competition in which you can use video conferencing tools to do a dance or like to talk to their grandparents. And we'll be having a challenge to find which ideas are the most creative. Right, so our poster will be going up today and yep so let's get to work before it's too late all right so let's look at what tiktok has right, so the first thing that i see when i enter the site will be the logo so tiktok uses three colors in their logo too black and this very radical shade of blue as well as slightly pinkish red so the kind of colors that this logo exudes will be fun, something energetic. Okay, so that's what we will be looking at now. And the color theme that goes on throughout the feed is all the same. It's the red, pinkish red, black, blue. So it's a very simple color scheme, yet keeps it very polished. Right, so the content on TikTok has been evolving. First, it was used for dancers, and now it is literally used for almost everything. Like it's maybe a video form of Instagram. So we do see music videos, random, uh, even what's the latest news going on, all in video form. So it's kind of like an Insta story feed going on, and yeah, that's nice baby. <laughs> So there's a limit to one minute on videos if I'm not wrong. And I was just reminded because I saw a daily video. Yeah, so those are some things that we have going. And I think when we are looking for the theme to fit a poster that is meant for a TikTok competition, we should have at least some references to TikTok itself. So one of the most striking and obvious uh, logo that we have will be this music note here. A little Edge. So that will be one of the items, that, one of the symbols that we'll be including in our logo to kind of make that association to TikTok itself. Right. So anything else we have here? Maybe the cloud will be a good one. It's just a simple upload video button. It's quite generic, but it's something that is striking about TikTok maybe. So you can't see we don't really have much that is very unique to TikTok over here. Just normal stuff. Okay, so I think we kind of got our ideas going. And wow, well, okay, interesting. So let's go back to our drawing canvas. And remember, always copy your artwork, don't delete it. So we'll just start over here and let's get to it. So sometimes the logos don't appear here all the time. Yeah, it takes a while to load. Maybe it's because my computer is on many, running many soft programs at the back. But okay, so let's get to it and we'll remove these. Headphones will really work well, but let's not try to replicate the look icons that we use. So there's one thing also that I try to note, not to repeat uh, certain logos or elements where, which uh, Canva calls it. So we don't use the same element twice because it might make wrong it might make very close associations with 
things that we have done already. We want to keep all the posters really very unique. So later on, when we have more, more posters, we can do a compilation to see how the team has been going and how we can definitely improve in future. Right. Also, that there are even some logos for TikTok on Canva. So, we can definitely look at these, but I think we should keep our design unique. Because, remember our style is to have solid bowl elements. So, we won't be using things like this, because it's pretty scanty. Right, so we can change all the elements within this logo. That's the beauty of uh, the Canva, I guess. There are really some elements that, some pictures that allow you full customizability of literally the whole design. So I think this is a good place to start. Let's start to polish up with the colors. Remember, we'll be using the colors in our color theme. Okay, so if you don't want the color to appear, there's no function in, uh, in Canva for us to remove a certain part of the picture. If there is, and you find it, do let me know. But as far as I know, there's no tool to remove a certain part of this image. So if we want, say for example, the border to disappear, we don't want to see the square, the rounded square border, then we just change it to the color of the background. And the only downside is that you can't put any overlay anything behind because it will just simply get cut off. But I'm sure we can work around it. This would be great. Okay, so for this image, we kind of have a bit of a problem because I wouldn't say it's a problem, but um, the background is similar over here. It's similar to that of this background here, but we want it to give a bit of a contrast because our bright orange gives a better contrast with the white. So let's try to think of a way in which we can kind of get around this. One might be putting the logo on top. Oh wait, no, but then there is the background, so we can't do that. No worries, we can always find our way around it. Mm, so what I'm thinking is to use a hat. Oh no, we lost our TikTok logo. <laughs> so one good way, one good habit of practice is to always not delete anything. So even if we're not going to use it, let's put it on the next slide. Right, so we kind of use some uh, lines to patch up the picture and let's go back to it. Okay, I think it is good. So I think for this case, we'll have to use two lines. So we'll just make a duplicate and if this works. Okay. Okay, so now let's con Okay, so now I think we can use this TikTok logo. We can put it here. So there are a lot of layering considerations to make because um, your images are all like stacked on top of each other. So something like this might work. So what I did was to group all the words together that are meant to stay so that I don't have to select them individually. Okay, so good. Now do a little bit of editing. 
So I think this looks great. Maybe the front looks a bit empty. We'll put something there. All right, I think we're done with our design over here. And yeah, so there are different elements going on again as usual. We have our... All right, so that's the end for our all right, I think our design looks great now. So let's run through a little few things that we have considered today. So we have taken the logo from TikTok because Canva does offer some logo. So I believe that if you search the word Instagram, find logos, find Twitter. This is really very versatile for designing. If you're doing up a poster and you need to uh, put your social media links in the poster, definitely you can use Canva because all these are really available. So you have the round button ones, square ones, rounded edges, hashtag. There's really a lot of them to explore. So it really opens up uh, the design options for you. So you can even change the colors as you go. So sometimes you want to keep your color theme. So I might just change it. Although it's advisable to keep to the same colors, especially for social media icons or really established logos because people associate the colors with the logo. I mean, if the bird was blue versus the bird was, say, green, I wouldn't know, really know what this meant. But if it's blue, it is definitely easier. So if I advise, if you go with something like this, it would be better to put a logo that is this. So it kind of like makes the logo more striking. Or you can change it to blue even. But make sure you get the right shade of blue. The way to check the shade of blue will be just to open it up, press new color. This will be the color code of the bird. So you can just copy it and paste it. Even if you want to change this to orange, this orange computer to the Twitter blue, just change it. So you get achieve the same color. So that's how you can make sure that the color scheme is exactly the same because I mean, I mean, there are so many colors and it all differs just by a slight bit so even just shifting to the left by uh, shifting to the right by a little will change the color slightly but it affects the whole color scheme right here uh, there's a darker shade of red Initially, I wanted to use a darker shade of red, but I think there are too many shades of red going, orange slash red going on, and it will just be quite confusing to have another shade up there. So, quite something striking. So, yeah, this computer keyboard is supposed to mean something like a dance floor. Um, so, people dancing on it, and it's TikTok, because it's a web based, uh, web based slash phone based application. You have the computer and the keys as the dance floor. A little town going on at the bottom, just like all our logos, keeping something constant throughout. So, first we kept the font the same as well as the design at the bottom. Right, so as we compare back to our other logos, looks theme is the same, we can't keep it there. Maybe for the tagline, I don't think we really need a tagline for this. We might want to have it next time, but for now, I think the design is elaborate enough. This wouldn't really add to it. So, I mean, if we were to make a poster next time, this picture can definitely go on top. Always scale the image, so it's important to always group everything. So, if you want to shrink it down, you can just scale it down accordingly. If I want to make this a logo and like have some text at the side, make a poster of it, definitely it works. Another reason why there's white in this is in case we have partners. So when we do our events, we do have community partners, organizations which have their own logos. So the best way to put logos of companies will be to have a little line going on at the bottom. Let me show you. So what I usually would do will be to have a box, just put it at the bottom. So another tip is when you look at the box and you scale images, so I'll be to translate it left and right. The four diagonal edges will be to scale it proportionally. So we'll have a little box at the bottom usually. 
and we will just change it to white. Okay, along these lines, in which we can put our partner logos there. So I'll just shift out the buildings a little normally. And so this is how it will go. Like if you have any logos, just like the bottom. Usually I'll put them at the bottom right. So it's just aligned. So the company's or the organization's logo over here. And we'll have a little word maybe supported by something like this. Don't get me wrong, they're not uh, having TikTok as like a partner in this. It's not that it doesn't work that way. Partners will be organizations who are partnering with you. So maybe a cent a family center nearby. Of course, we can just scale it down proportionally. Right. I think I messed it up a little on top. Let me just do everything. Right, this is great. So that's the end of our tutorial for today. If you have any questions, any requests, just leave them in the comment section below. And if not, see you next time.